Hello, YHS, and welcome to the last assembly of the year. It's hard to believe that my time as MC is coming to a close. It's been quite the exciting adventure. I hope that everyone is staying healthy and taking advantage of the beautiful weather we are having. I have been baking, biking, running, and swimming, but the water is still freezing. I do not recommend that. <laughs> Honestly, you guys, I would give anything to get up on stage and see all of your faces one more time. But I know for a fact that the next MC will take very good care of you all. Alrighty, we have a lot to cover today, so let's get started. First off, we have an announcement from Mr. Klein and Ms. Bongard. Dear students, I can't believe we're down to the final few weeks of school, and for our seniors, it's only a few more days. A few quick reminders about the end of the year. First, get your work done. You'll need to complete your essential assignments by the end of the year. If you haven't earned credit for a course, there will be a summer school program to help you. Second, make sure you turn in all your school materials and your laptop. I'll be sending you more information about this next week. Finally, I want to take a moment to thank all of you for your support the last few months. We have all experienced challenges and it's important to reach out to your friends and your family for support. We're all in this together, and I want to make sure you have the support you need to end the year on a positive note. Make sure you get your work done, take care of your family and friends, and make sure you take care of yourself. Hi, YHS. I'm sitting here in my office in a very nearly empty building, and it is just hard to believe that we last gathered in person two and a half months ago. Even though it's been that long, I feel like every day also feels surreal and fresh. Um, I can't tell you how much I miss seeing you all. We are in this to be social people and to make learning social, and certainly the current circumstances are really challenging. But every day also brings forth joy, from classroom teachers to kitchen staff, from administrative assistants to support staff and custodians to technology and library staff. We simply have an amazing group of adults who care deeply about students and are willing to do whatever it takes to keep Yarmouth High School rolling through such an unpredictable time. We are so proud of you all. And the resilience of our students has just broken the mold. Logging in every day, staying connected to your peers, to your advisors, to your teachers, putting one foot in front of the other, even if you couldn't remember which day of the week it was, um, making efforts to keep our sense of community going despite the fact that we needed to be distanced. We are so proud of you. Around the state and the country, everyone's doing their best to adapt. But I don't know of a high school staff or student body that is doing it better than we are at Yarmouth High School. The change to distance learning required a quick pivot and then constant learning on the fly. We are now almost finished with this phase of distance learning. I ask you to keep your eyes on the prize. Students to get those essentials submitted successfully, call it a wrap for the year. And reach out when you need help in the meantime. You have got this and we've got you. Whatever the future brings, just know that this school and this district will chart the best possible course to keep you all successful and supported. Keep the faith stay well, and take good care of yourselves and each other. Thank you, Mr. Klein and Ms. Bongard for the encouraging words. And now it is time to announce the winners of the Yop Art and Writing Spring Contest. Drum roll. So for the artwork, the winning first place artist is Sophia Salmos with her illustration, and we have two honorable mentions. The first honorable mention goes to Cole Davies for his illustration, and the second honorable mention goes to Ashley Allen for her photo, Spurwink Farm. The first place winner will receive a $25 gift card to Arts and Craftsmen, and the honorable mentions will receive a $10 gift certificate also from Arts and Craftsmen. All right, and now for the Writing Award winners. Uh, the winning first place award goes to Claudia Coolidge for her poem, Golden Field. And our two honorable mentions go to Samantha Bailey for her short story, Hit and Run, and to Mary Cy Hodges for her poem, The Road Menders. 
The first place winner will receive a $25 gift certificate for Royal River Books, and the honorable mentions will receive a $10 gift certificate also from Royal River Books. Alrighty, and now the moment that you have all been waiting for. My time has, as being your MC has come to a close. It cannot last forever, unfortunately. So I had to find a replacement. So without further ado, please enjoy this cinematic masterpiece announcing the new MC. <laughs> Let's roll. There's no one up there, so let's look down by the dock. So I'm realizing I forgot about a few things. One, MCs aren't usually found underwater. Two, I'm actually a robot wearing a human costume who was sent from the future to protect humanity. And three, water corrodes the numerous circuit boards and wires that allow me to function and engage in natural human behavior. So I'm going to wear this sheet while they service my electronics because I do not have the human costume on and I am absolutely horrifically hideous without it on. Like whatever you're imagining, it's probably worse. I'm a picture of Elmo without the fur, but also with glowing red eyes that peer deep into your soul and fill you with indescribable dread. But never mind that. The show must go on. I shall continue my search for the next MC, and hopefully at some point my human suit will come back from the dry cleaners. So I continued my search, leaving no stone unturned, no tree unshaken. I couldn't find a single person, let alone one that would make a good MC. It was time to call in some backup, and I knew exactly who to ask. Alex, so good to see you. How have you been? Hey, uh, good, good. You know, just uh, finished up my freshman wow, year. Wow, that sounds great. We're just waiting for a couple more to join. That's really good to hear. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so happy. Just overjoyed. <laughs> freshman year just must be crazy. Eliza, so glad you could make it. Oh, of course, Taja. I wouldn't miss it for the world. You know, I've been waiting to be involved. Wow, with that sounds great. You know, we're just waiting on one more. Yeah, one more. Um, Eliza, you know, I, I really missed your factoids of the month. Do you have any you want to share? I, I sure do. Did you know that it used to be considered bad luck to be married in May? Oh, no. I knew someone who got married in October. That, I, I'm very sorry. That's, that's unfortunate. Ben, holy moly, I haven't seen you in forever. How have you been? Really good. I actually just got named the CEO of Amazon. Wow, that sounds great. Well, now that everyone is here, we can begin. You're all probably wondering why I gathered you here. I mean, not really we're all previous mcs and in your email you sent us you said i need your help finding a new mc 
Yeah. So the reason that I gathered you all here is because you are all previous MCs and I need your help in finding a new one. I thought who would be better at finding a new MC than the ones who have already done it. Now this task won't be easy. A new MC isn't just going to fall into our laps and join this zoom call at this very second. Although that would be pretty ideal. Wait, hello, is someone there? All right, everyone put their hands up. This isn't funny. Who is doing this? I, I thought this was a private call. It was. If you don't identify yourself right now, I'm reporting you to Alice Barr. How's everyone doing? <laughs> All right, this is fate. You're the new MC. My business here is finished. Bye bye. All right. Aloha YHS. Um, I'm so stoked to be your MC next year. Um, I a few things to share. First thing, my favorite snack is ants on a log. Second, I love Lil Pump. And third, my favorite color is red. All right, I just want to take a moment to quickly introduce myself, but now I'd also like to move on to thanking Tasha. Tasha, you've been such a light throughout this whole year, and we were so lucky to have an MC as funny and great as you. I will try my best to live up to you as an MC, but I just wanted to tell you that we left a little present on your front door as a small token of our appreciation. Finally, we all wanted to thank two women who make these assemblies and student senate possible every year. Ms. Casey and Ms. Barr, you both work tirelessly in order to make the school a better place and to give students the chance to partake in student government. So we've also left gifts on your doorsteps as a symbol of our thanks for your hard work now I'm going to give you all back to Tasha, but I just wanted to end by saying I can't wait for next year. It's going to be a movie. Thank you so much for choosing me as the MC. Thank you so much, Margaret. I was pleasantly surprised to see my gift on my front doorstep. Um, you guys, <laughs> that just means so much to me. Thank you so much. Um, well, YHS, uh, this is where I say my final goodbye. It's hard to believe that it came so soon. Um, I cannot emphasize enough how thankful I am to have had the opportunity of being your MC. I have had an absolute blast and I want to take a moment to thank some people who made Wednesday morning assemblies possible behind the scenes. To Maddie, Camden, Alex, and Adelia for helping with lighting, chair setup, and microphones. To the assembly crew, Loey, Laney, Tom, and Evan, and to Alex for being a fire vice president, and to Jane and Sam for being fantastic presidents. For Ari and Winnie for being so supportive in the last few weeks, and to Connor Wolf for bringing the MC video to life with his editing skills, and to Miss Barr, Miss Casey, and the rest of the YHS staff. I have made memories on the YPAC stage that I will not forget anytime soon. <laughs> such as standing in front of the entire student body in a Christmas tree costume. Still can't believe I did that. <laughs> Before I leave, I just wanted to share some words of wisdom. To the underclassmen, you are all amazing. Keep shining and striving to be the best that you can be. And don't stress too much. Try and enjoy your time in high school. To the upcoming seniors, enjoy every single moment of your senior year because it moves by so incredibly fast. Just lost my spot. <laughs> and take it all in and be proud of yourself for everything that you have achieved. I wish you all the best of luck next year with the college application process. It might seem scary and overwhelming at first, but I promise that you will end up where you're meant to be. Please reach out and ask for any advice. I am open whatever you need. And now to the current seniors. We've been through a lot this year with an unfortunate ending to our last year. No past generations have ever had to deal with this type of situation. And I am confident that we will reflect back on this time and use it to our advantage long after our time at YHS. Although we are all apart, we have managed to come together in so many innovative ways. 
I want to tell you all that I am extremely thank thankful for the past 12 years that I've had at Yarmouth. <sighs> you are all wonderful and intelligent people who will all go on to do amazing things. I look forward to seeing you all in August for graduation. And lastly, I wanted to thank all of the teachers at YHS for being a beacon of light during this difficult time. You have all approached this challenge with the utmost enthusiasm, and I know I'm speaking for the entire school when I say that we are all so appreciative of all of you and everything that you have done for us, truly. Saying goodbye to some of my teachers today really did break my heart. You are all such wonderful people. Thank you for being such an influential part of my life. And with that, YHS, I shall say my final goodbye and leave you in the capable hands of Margaret. Alrighty.